So this week we're here at the clubhouse in uh, Rhinebeck, New York, and what we're doing is working on presets for the Avatar 2 program that's coming out. We had done an Avatar version 1 a couple of years before this one. We recorded this in 2006, and, and it's incredible. It's so weird to work on this stuff because you forget the, the, the process. You forget the, the, uh, the painstaking aspect of the process. And, and it, actually, you forget what it sounded like. But uh, as soon as we put the stuff up, <laughs> it was like you want to laugh because you are in that room immediately. And you're back on that day doing the, doing the recording. And it's fantastic, you know. And it just takes you there. It's so immediate and so real sounding. But I really had forgotten what it sounded like. I was really curious, and it, it actually, it's amazing. Well, the great thing about Avatar, formerly the power station for me, is, is not only did I really start there, and I've done countless sessions, so it's very intuitive for me, but it's a lethal combination of an amazing sounding Neve 8068, one of the best sounding consoles ever made, and a room designed by Tony Bon Jovi that is, is just tailor-made for drum recording. It's large, it's ambient, it sounds fantastic, it's punchy, it's clear, and we really captured all of the things that that room has to offer. It's interesting because, uh, you know, my miking techniques have not changed that much since I started Avatar in 1979. But because we were, da were basically generating data on these sessions, I wanted to capture as much audio from as many locations and, and, and viewpoints as possible. So we really went crazy with the amount of microphones we were using and the processing on the microphones. I've basically filled up the console with drum mics, which I've never been able to do. So you're basically, you, you have so much data and so much information coming at you that it's a process of picking and choosing. And you know, what we're doing here in the presets is, is picking and choosing to a certain extent for the user. But again, they have the total option to incorporate that or exp expand upon it any way they want to. There's so much stuff coming out of the program uh, that's all of it usable. Uh, that it's just a, a joy, it's great. So the people that did the Avatar 2, uh, myself, Pat Thrall, and Nir Z, uh, are the same guys that did Avatar 1. So the three of us and Matthias were there and we really, you know, we had focused to the point that we knew exactly what we had to get and, and how to get it. And as a result, I think this is the best sounding uh, product, at least where we've been involved in. You know, it's a step up. I think sonically, but also in, ter in terms of the number of options you have. You know, there's more mics, there's more processed stuff, there's more nutty stuff that you can incorporate into, into it, and more options for the end user. Mm -hmm.